What's up, guys? I'm back in Tokyo right now. Today, I want to share you the budget-friendly staycation tips in Tokyo. Whenever I come to Tokyo, I always stay around the Oimachi area. So for this video, I'm going to introduce you the budget-friendly hotel in Oimachi and also some shopping places and of course halal restaurant. This is Atre, uh, connected to the uh, Oimachi station. It's a kind of small shopping mall. They have uh, like uh, Uniqlo and Loft, Seijo Ishii, Welsia, and uh, like uh, Muji. So for the Uniqlo, you can get a tax refund here. But for the Muji, you can't get it, unfortunately. Uh, for the Muji, you have to go to the uh, Kamata if you want to go from here. The closest one is uh, Kamata. So now I'm at uh, Oimachi Chuoguchi. It's Oimachi Station central, uh, central entrance. Yeah, the hotel is just uh, one minute. Yes, it's just a one minute walk from the Oimachi central entrance. Yes, this is a uh, hotel I always stay when I come to Tokyo. It's hotel hours in Hankyu. This is a hotel, right? And uh, this is Oimachi JL station. So just uh, one minute. And a really good point to stay in Oimachi is you can get a bus from here directly to the Haneda airport. So now it seems like people waiting for the bus here to the Haneda. It's just uh, like a 45 minutes or something to Haneda. In Oimachi, you can take a Rinka line. So if you take this one, you can go to Shinjuku, uh, Shibuya, and also, also you can go to the Tokyo Big Side. Uh, that's a place where you can see some exhibition or like a fair or expo. They have uh, two towers. One is for single people. The other is like a twin people. It's only one minute's walk from the Oimachi station, central entrance. Good things about uh, their hotel is they have a um, supermarket downstairs. So the, the check-in place is uh, upstairs there. So Hankyu is a kind of um, department store from the Osaka. Yeah, and uh, they offer some good quality food. And uh, they have uh, like a supermarket downstairs, Oimachi Shokuhin Kan. So you can get some, you know, food like a supermarket. It's kind of pricey. I mean, the high-end uh, quality food. You can get some Japanese melon, some fruits, peach. That's really nice. And also they have some, you know, Japanese salad, bento, lot of things. But you have to be very careful about uh, halal or haram. Basically, unfortunately, they are not halal. So I don't re really recommend you to buy these kind of things. But you can try like uh, fruits, you know, here, like yogurt, milk, should be okay for you. Oh, is there a yeah, they have sushi places, but the rice contains the vinegar. But look at this court here. It's really nice. But you have like a sashimi choice here. Wow, this is a maguro. So you can buy sashimi here. Uh, all you need is just a halal, um, halal shoyu, soy sauce. Wow. Look at this Japanese quality fish. Yeah, all of them from, yeah, really fresh. Coming from Hokkaido, Toyama, Oita, Kagoshima. Wow. Wow, they're going to do the uh, Maguro cutting, cutting promotion. The Japanese samurai is uh, preparing to cut the big tuna, maguro. They have a pharmacies upstairs, so you can get it, and also they are offering uh, um, tax-free for you guys. 
that's really good. Like cosmetics, some medicines you can get here um, for tax free. And also they have a, like a one dollar source, one coin store, can do. It's like a Daiso style. There's also the cleaning service stores, but for this one, you have to speak Japanese, I think. And they have a Starbucks upstairs, just above the um, OE Shokuhinkan, the supermarket. All right, let's go check the hotel. Ours in Hankyu, it's a single tower, the one for single people. They have a, like a cafe and bar, offering like breakfast, tea time. But you better check the ingredients very carefully. Okay, so this is a place where you can check in. Yeah, the check-in starts from 3 p.m. And you can pay by their uh, credit card. And you can get the uh, like a uh, hairbrush, razor, green tea, the cotton for free, and a Japanese newspaper if you can read it. So once you're done the check-in, you get uh, the card to go to your floor. You need to touch the key here. Yeah, in a fourth floor, um, you can go to the coin laundry. For the coin round V, this is for women only. So this is for men. So you have to pay by cash. So 30 minutes, 100 yen. You just put a coin here for the round V, you know, washing. For the dryer, you get a, you put a 200 yen for one uh, drying, I think something like half an hour. If you want to use the iron, you can talk to the, the uh, front desk. All right, so just arrived at uh, my floors. It's a 16. Um, good things about this hotel is um, you don't need to bring the pajamas. You can get pajama here. Base free size. And for the drink, they have a uh, vending machine every floor. Uh, if you have a sweet car, sweet car, you know the card, sweet car, you just touch it and you can push, then you can buy. They also have a microwave and also ice machine. Okay, let's go check the rooms. Yeah, as I said, this is a, uh, the one for single use. So it's, the bed is not that big, you know. You can sleep here with your maybe kids only. Yeah, at least uh, maximum two people, but uh, the other one must be kids. So they have a TV and a Wi-Fi. The password is, yeah, just there. And uh, you have a fridge here. But you can't put the you can't put the ice cream or you know ice here. Only like uh, you know water with some drinks, some food. And this is shower room. Yeah, no bathtub. They have shampoo, body soap, conditioner. Toothbrush for free. Dryers and the toilet. This one written in English or just the pictures. Yeah, this is a view from my room. Yeah, really Tokyo. This is a place where over something like 15 million people live. You know, one thing you have to be careful uh, to bring your electric things. Yeah, the socket shape is different, so you have to bring like this one. Yeah, different from like Malaysia, Singapore, Indonesia, Thailand. 
totally different. I think this is really nice. If you want them to clean up, you just take this one and put this one on the door. Like this. So if you don't want to stay, so if you want to tell, do not disturb, you just put this one. And this is the quality card. Towel, brush, mineral water, they don't change if you put this one. Oh yeah, one more thing I have to tell you is uh, there's no security box here. So like the passport, money, and the very important things, it's better to put it in uh, uh, your uh, suitcase and just make sure you rock it. So this is pretty much about a, a room tour. In the ground floor, I mean, this is the first floor in Japanese. You have access to Family Mart. This open 24-7. Yeah, you can get a, like a, some food, drinks, onigiri, bento, sandwiches, like some sweets. In Oimachi, there's another um, big supermarket. It's down there. Uh, Ito Yokado. It's more like a, a yeah, giant supermarket. It's a big one. So this is a Twin Towers. Ours in Twin Towers. They have a McDonald's, also Moss Burgers. For the fast food such as McDonald's and Moss Burgers, I already uploaded another videos, so please check for the detail. All right, it's time to go for the lunch. There's a Tuhara restaurant along the Oimachi area. You have to take a train to Omori Station. Just it's just a one stop within a two or three minutes. Alright, just arrive at uh, Omori Station. It's uh, one stop away from Oimachi Station. Um, halal restaurant is somewhere around uh, this place. So let me explain about uh, Omori town a little bit. It's still in a uh, Tokyo Central District, but I feel it's kind of like a local place. Yeah, it's not like a Shinjuku, Harajuku, very busy area. It's more like a, a local place with more residence place. And that's why I don't see so much, you know, high story buildings. Yeah, it looks like really local. I like it. Yes, I found a Hala ramen store right there. It's only like a few minutes walk. Cheese sweet. Wow. It's like a, I guess this is Chinese style, but they're offering the halal ramen. And just the opposite of this um, halal ramen store, we have a halal yakiniku right behind my, my face. Yeah, right here. Yeah, they say it's halal. And luckily, they are offering the, the lunch menu. All right, so I tried the uh, cheese sui, lanshu gyuniku ramen. Yeah, this is halal ramen. I'll try this one for my, my lunch today. Story this. Thank you. This restaurant is halal, right? 
Halal restaurant. Halal. Chisui oh, is offering halal ramen mainly, and also their yakisoba, and also they have uh, like uh, a la carte menu. Yeah, most of them the Chinese style. Yeah, it's good to you know, come here at some group people and sharing some food here. Oh, it's so quick. Only like uh, you know three or four minutes. This is the soup. It's mainly like uh, beef broth. We have the fried rice also coming. So this is a ramen set by Chisui, 1,180 yen. All right, it's time to say itadakimasu. Oh, let me check the, the soup first, yeah. Mm. Yeah, this ramen is totally different from the Japanese style ramen. Yeah, I feel like a Chinese taste here. And also they put a coriander inside, so yeah. If you like a coriander, you can, I think, add more. And this is a beef. Yeah, they got uh, like three slices of beef. Of course, this is halal as well. Right, I'll try this beef. Mm. It's very juicy. The texture is very soft. Yeah, no like you know hard. Yeah, it's very good texture. Easy to chew. All right. Yeah. How about the ramen noodle? Yeah, they can. They are making the ramen noodle here. I think this is good, really big portion. Wow, yeah, it's quite quite big portion for the noodle. Yeah, compared to the Japanese one, I think it's a double size maybe. Yeah, they are making the um, ramen noodle here in the back side. Yeah, they say this noodle is like a, not like Japanese ramen style. This is more like Chinese, you know, style. Yeah, I feel it's a bit different. Yeah, more like mochi mochi. It's mochi texture. Yeah, they have a spice sauce here, so you can add uh, as much as you want. I try a little bit. Yeah, this small amount should be okay for me. Yeah, I just put a, only that a bit, a little bit, so it doesn't taste very spicy. I hope. Even you know, small amount of spice. Yeah, I feel it's very spicy. But you know, it, it makes it makes me more want to eat. Yeah, the noodle. All right, let me try the fried rice, chaham. Yeah, this is just a simple chaham. Yeah, the the one uh, we can eat anywhere in Tokyo, Osaka. Yeah, it's a pretty simple one. Actually, I didn't eat a breakfast today, but still, this ramen is a too much big portion. Yeah, sorry to say I couldn't finish it. I really enjoy the Chinese style halal ramen in Omori. Yeah, if you have a chance, come to Omori. It's only like a two two stops from Shinagawa Station. It's not that far. It's like a five five minutes or something. Yeah, this is also a good place to visit. So good news for you guys. This PayPay is uh, one of the biggest um, uh, cashless you know, payment service in Japan. They are now linking with uh, Alipay and also Alipay is linked with uh, uh, Touch and Go in Malaysia. So today I will try to pay with uh, my touch and go. Whoa, it could ask off.
ダン払いました I'm coming here for the, my dinner tonight See you later Carl's、uh, Cashless payment method PayPay is now linking with、uh, um, Alipay also Touch and Go All you have to do is just、uh, open your Touch and Go apps and choose the、uh, scan and then scan the PayPay QR code Yeah, and after that it's just same as、uh, Malaysia It's really good. You can pay by the ring, Malaysia Lingit. I just paid it、uh, for my、uh, the ramen. I don't need to、uh, bring the old, always the、uh, Japanese currency yen. Of course, not only Touch and Go, the other like, international payment, cashless payment service,、uh, is also linking with their payment、uh, more and more.、Uh, as far as I know,、uh, please check the, the pictures here. It's five o'clock. In the evening, came back to Omori Eki again for my dinner. This is the one I mentioned before. Yeah, the yakiniku. Hello, yakiniku. Sumimasen, hitori desu. They have a lot of certification here. Okay, let me check the menu. Omori yaki niku te. Yeah, it seems like really affordable price. I guess the yaki niku in Malaysia is more expensive. They have also assort, assortment、uh, menu. Kalbi lo salami for four people. If you're coming here more than two people, you can order two course o m o r i course and premium course. This is lunch menu starting from this June 2023. 2023. Yeah, it's really affordable price. And good things about this lunch is you can, you can refill the rice soup for free one time. And also, you can order you know, big size rice, large size rice for free. Yeah, this is Joniku no Santen Mori. Yeah, it's coming with a、uh, kalbi, roast, tan, three varieties of beef. Yeah, but uh, uh, they just offer me for the half, half volume、uh, for, the, for this making videos. Yeah, so yeah, thank you. Joniku Santen Mori coming with、uh, three varieties of beef、uh, kalbi. Yeah, I think this is kalbi. And then this is roast. And this is tan. Yeah, all of them is a premium one. And for the sauce, special sauce, they make it by themselves in this restaurant, and the recipe is secret. Yeah, so it's time to eat. Itadakimasu. Let me try the tan first. Yeah, I think it's kind of custom. People in Japan eat the tan first for the yakiniku. I don't know why. Yeah, I was really surprised that、uh, one of my followers on、uh, Instagram、uh, he saw my stories today and、uh, he found out right here. Yeah, he just came here and、uh, eating the、uh, yakiniku in upstairs. Whoa! I think this is enough. I think it's done.、Yeah. Just dip the, the lemon, the lemon sauce. Wow, it's really. Thick. It's big. Mass.、Mm. Right, let me try the, the lost. The lost next one. Yeah, this is Japanese Wagyu. Hello, Wagyu. Mm. Yeah, the beef really soft. 
it's melting in my mouth still and very juicy of course and uh, this special sauce is very fruity yeah i feel something fruit inside yeah not spicy at all but it's really good match with the japanese halal beef finally kalbi let's go look at this kalbi i think it's ready to eat Yeah, the, the last one. The Kaobi is a big beef. Mm. It's really good. This Kaobi is really nice. Yeah, it, conti uh, it has a very, you know, a lot of fat inside, but it's not too much, you know, oily. Yeah, it's very, yeah, good anyway. The lady working here just told me that uh, uh, the one of the special things about this restaurant is they don't offer any alcoholic beverages such as beer or Japanese sake. But I think you know it's a really big challenge for them. I, I really respect you know the challenges. Yeah, they told me you know sometimes Japanese customer come here asking if there is a beer here, but if they reply no beer here, but most of them said most of them going back. Yeah, but yeah, it is what it is. But I really respect their, you know, their their motivation to support. I mean, to welcome the Muslim customers with the the halal standard. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, this is the last beef. Mm. Yeah, I really enjoy the Japanese halal uh, wagyu yakiniku in Omori, Tokyo. Yeah, they really focus on the halal um, service for everything. So no beer, no sake here. So if you're really looking for really authentic halal standard restaurant, uh, this is a place you have to come. Oh, one more upstairs. Oh. Oh, very steep stairs. You have to be careful. Oh, this is a Japanese style. You have to take off the shoes here. For the payment, um, you can use a, a credit card here. And also they are accepting PayPay. They're saying uh, PayPay is available. So it means uh, it's connected with the Alipay. So links with the uh, touch and go here from Malaysia. Just came back from the dinner at uh, Yakiniku restaurant in Omori. Yeah, and uh, I changed my, you know, outfit to pajamas. This is the one offered by this hotel. Of course, it's for free. No need to pay to rent this one. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, anyway, Oimachi is, has a good access to any place, to airport, Shinkansen, uh, JL, like a Shinjuku, Shibuya, or even Tokyo Station. So that's why I always stay here and uh, it's not like you know noisy place, not like a busy place like Shinjuku, Shibuya, Harajuku It's kind of like a residence area but still the access is really good Yes, and a uh, halal restaurant is just uh, one stop away from here which is in uh, Omori station And also the hotel is really affordable Yeah, I just spent like 6,300 yen for one night you can see it yeah it depends on the day you know weekend of course is much higher but like uh, tomorrow I just spent only 6,300 yen per one night at the central of Tokyo it's amazing right hours in Hankyu yeah the hotel hours in Hankyu is one of my best recommendations so if you have a chance to come to Tokyo uh, why don't you try staying here and enjoy halal food in Omori station and you know sightseeing around here doing a business yeah i hope you enjoyed my video thank you